Previously on Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Oh my sexy bod! Oh! Wow, that is a really firm-fitting suit he's wearing. <laughs> Look how tight it, oh! Shows off his every fucking pectoral! Mm. And now back to wagging my little finger. Hello! This is Nico B, back with some more Ace Attorney Investigations 2. When we last left off, we were reintroduced to everyone's favorite magenta-colored, cravat-wearing prosecutor and his big pointy finger as he works to play connect four with every person on earth. And the first case started off really well, actually. I got fucking reintroduced to, to the day killer again. Met a lot of heart knockoff who <laughs> I'm actually already liking more than the original lot of heart. So that's a good sign. I don't know, maybe the, the girl, cause it, it had to have been her, right? With the, the laser pointer thing. So maybe she was trying to, to, to make a big scoop by like having a gun shot go off or something, you know? Like she was the one who like instigated it just to, just cause she, she was just starting out and she wanted something big to, to make it on the map, I guess. So uh, maybe that like one of those shots was like the one that went through the flag and the and the balloon was her or something. That's that's the only thing I could really think of, though. But at last second, Dick Killer went and put his knife up to that uh, bodyguard guy who I'm betting is actually the bad guy. By the way, you guys told me apparently uh, the future Ace Attorney games actually do not have much voice acting at all. I Really? I, I thought they were like all at least mostly fully voice acted. I, I didn't realize that it, they said the only time they really did it was like in the animated cutscenes or something. Oh, all right, well, fuck, all right, sweet, yeah! <laughs> I'll be able to keep doing voice for Ace Attorney games until I fucking drop dead. One day she's gonna be like, I'm gonna short circuit. Uh, yeah, yes, come shoot, no, Edgeworth, no, I'm Phoenix, right, right, boom! And then it'll just be raining Nika B. Um, also, apparently, there are some pretty spoily things, I'm guessing, regarding cer certain characters. So, some of you worry that I, I might spoil myself with the thumbnails. It's okay, I, I, uh, I have a lot of times somebody who will go through the thumbnails and, like, find things that are appropriate. And it should be fine, so it should be fine, don't worry about it. It's not very often we get the, the first case of the game having a, a two-parter. It didn't happen very often, so. But, uh, turn about target end. Let's get started. The death of the bodyguard Ethan Rook and the, the arrival of Shelley Day Killer. Oh, of course, uh, you know, his Rook as in the chess piece, Knightly also as in the, the, the knight. It's gotta be though, because the guy was saying how he's such a big fan of chess, right? He was probably the one who wrote that piece of paper that told exactly where they would be, I, I'm guessing. A new development in this case has come to light. Under Knightly's direction, the door of the, the president's plane was opened. After the paramedics attending Mr. Rook left, we set foot inside the plane, one by one. Dick Killer motherfucking badass. March 25th, 4.15 p.m., President's, President's Plane Office. Oh, look, it's a dead guy on the floor. Oh my, where would the President be? H who knows? It seems he's just behind that door. Still a coward, I see. You think he just show himself in front of a hitman? Ha! Not a chance! Didn't I tell you already? My purpose here is simply to investigate the case. Well then, Mr. Prosecutor, we await your examination of the body. Right. <laughs> For now, I have no choice but to obey and continue the investigation. Which is what I do best. Press up to detect a gumshoe. Ah, <laughs> now well, I'm, uh, well, I'm boned. The attempted assassination of the president became the murder of a body murder of, murder of a bodyguard. Hey, looks like looks like you could use some help, Mr. Edgeworth. Well, I don't deny it, but <laughs> see exactly if that's the case, then it can't be helped. Just leave it to the great thief, K. Faraday. <laughs> I like I like my sort of like my default face. I just I, just, I already look pissed off. I'm like ah uh... <laughs> right. So are you saying you can solve this case? <laughs> nope. See, that was such certainty. Instead, I'll be sticking to be, stick to being your support. Which counts to pretty much nothing, right? Yep. All right, let's get straight to the investigation. All right. I need to buy time for the police to prepare. I'll need to draw out this investigation for as long as I can. Begin investigation. Presence plane. Hmm, this chair looks suspicious. Hmm, and this other chair looks suspicious. And this wall here, hmm, very suspicious. Are you trying to buy time? No, of course not. Not at all. Oh, a lifesaver and a riot shield. And look, I can see the player playing the game right now. Hi, Nico. Hi, Edgeworth. Got some gas masks here. 
Two gas masks lay on the table, ready to protect against poison gas attacks. The president seems to be quite fearful of assassinations. Is this the rumored gas mask? It's my first time seeing the real thing. Rumored? Among the great thieves? No, the Jim and Ninja of the children's program. <laughs> During the Princess Viol Viola's wedding ceremony, the, the poison tongue ninja, Sam Simon Kowal. Wait, is it Princess Viola old bag? Oh yeah, I forgot. Damn it, that's just room for me now. I know, that's what I was saying. I should stop listening to her so seriously. It never seems to pay off. Ooh, dead dude. I want Rasta to have inspect, inspected every nook and, nook and bodyguard butthole. Let's just turn him over real quick. Bullet pierces body is below his armpit. Fortunately, he was hit in an area, in an area his bulletproof vest didn't cover. Really seems like a willing shot. The cause of death was likely blood loss. The bleeding has stopped. Bummer, dude. The paramedics were called to treat Mr. Rook, right? I'm afraid they didn't make it in time. It seems the victim also carried a gun. Did he try to shoot something? He may have drawn it out instinctively to return fire. I need to check it to see if the gun has f fired any bullets. Hmm, still fully loaded. There's no evidence of any shots being fired. This gun is also also from Zhang Fa, right? Ah, uh, yes, yeah. We were always issued the same model revolver. Hmm, okay. All right, let me inspect his crotch now. This is a bullet bulletproof a, a, a tache, tache case? It's a tool bot bodyguards use to protect themselves from bullets. Oh, okay. I was wondering about that. I was like, why is his suitcase open? He's holding it up like that. That's cool. We see it in case photo. Man, you think you make it a little wider? You barely fit yourself behind it. Seems Rook and Knightley both had one. Hmm, okay. Oh, that's the scene I stole in film. Yes, I know. Just fucking said that. You didn't do anything illegal in taking this. Anywhere, anytime, I'm always in the mood to steal. You just wanted to use the word steal, didn't you? Hey, have I been caught? Is that a bird? Next to the ride shield, there's a canary in a cage. Ah, oh, it's so cute. I want to be my partner. Partner? Hey! I'm, I'm just as good as this fucking bird. Of course, they help me open locks and do other odd jobs of the crime scene. A great thief should always use nature to her advantage. I've heard of canaries being used to detect poison gas. Don't tell me. Hey, Kay, you want a lifesaver? Sturdy life preserver rests against the table. It is an essential life-saving tool. Suppose this is a precaution in case someone accidentally falls into the ocean. The ocean, huh? Hey, Mr. Edgeworth, how about we go together sometime? If you want to go, just go by yourself. <laughs> I don't do vacations, or friendship, or fun. Oh, don't be such a party pooper. Let's go to the, let's go visit the ocean. Think about the hot dogs and the shaved ice. It'll be delicious. I've had my fill of hot dogs with fucking Larry, thank you. Hey dude, you want some more samurai dogs? No, Larry, for the last fucking time. No! You just want to go to the, the ocean to eat. Mmm, <laughs> yummy. What is that? I'm arrested until I've inspected every suspicious looking lion switch thing. Seriously, what the fuck am I looking at right now? Strange decoration based off some strange animal is staring at me with its strange eyes. <laughs> Foolishly foolish align, there's foolishly foolish levers of the There's a lever on the statue, see right there on his butt. That would be most unforgivable. Ah, ah! I'm sorry! I didn't mean anything by it! Wait, what? That lever most likely operates the trap door underneath my feet. Oh. Hmm, then and that is actually a pitfall trap. I hope you understand. It would be in your best interest not to pull that lever. The killer talks about your best interest, it would be wise to do as he says. <laughs> Uh, you can also just, I don't know, step away from it. No, that would be way too much effort. And also the developers of this game didn't draw a walk animation while I hold this guy. Oh yeah. Are these some kind of official documents? I know it's a bit rude, but let's take a peek inside. Hmm, seems to be a security plan. Okay. You must be able to repel any attack from the lake. The president's our top priority. Undercover agents keep an eye on the audience. Is the same? Oh no, the rook in... The night are switched here. Also, we have pawns instead. Also, I mean, aside from the writing also being different. Oh, the date, this is dated earlier. This one's dated on Mar March 24th. Ah, this looks like the, the one we found earlier in the trash can. Yes, it does. But what's, what's this? 
Something seems out of place. Eureka! Eureka! What's that? What's this? Details of the security plan were cha changed. Uh, ah, you're right. Yeah, that's right. It was changed yesterday. Pre presence orders. Why the sudden change? Because two days ago, the killer attacked the president. He disguised himself as a bodyguard. Rook was the first to notice. He had already gotten close to the president. Oh, I see. That's how he said. Why he said uh, that they were acquainted with one another. Oh shit! Oh damn, dude! <laughs> oh my god! All the other bodyguards is going on him. Rook managed to stop him just in the nick of time. Rook grabbed his left arm and twisted it. Ah. Then he fired one bullet square into his left arm. Left arm. What were you doing at that time, Mr. Knightley? I was... If I remember correctly, the first person I took out that day was you. Oops. <laughs> was that a touchy subject? I suck at my job. Again, I just want to point this out, uh, dude with the castle on his neck. He can't actually kill you. You do realize that, right? I mean, I guess he could stab you in the eye or something, but... I mean, he can't slit your throat. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! So back, th back then... Your neck injury is yet to heal, and you've already forg forgotten. N no, not you, not now. Since that day, I haven't been able to turn my head right. It sucks. To think that I would suffer an injury. Ethan Rook. You could say he was a most capable individual. Unlike this man here. <laughs> What's so different about me and Rook? I believe you're about as different as a pawn and a queen. What? So you remembered Rook's name because he was highly highly capable. Correct. While disguised as a bodyguard, I happened to hear his name. There was no way I could forget that name. Only a select few have ever been able to injure me. So this was the connection to Killer was talking about. Security arrangements were changed. Oh, security arrangements were changed so that the Killer would not be able to sneak in as a bodyguard again. Only the president's two most sub trusted subordinates were Accompanying him on the stage. I see. Okay, so the, the pawns were just the other the other bodyguards. Short, me, and Rook. I see. Okay. It appears your positions were also changed. That's true. He's now on the right side. Because I can't turn my head to the right. My position got changed to the, pre the president's left side. In other words, I was relocated to the right side of the stage. Hmm, okay. Got some body armor here. That's a heavy looking vest. The president's clothes must be made from some special fabric. Indeed. It's to protect against bullets. Wow, it just even does that? <laughs> Naturally, this is a bulletproof vest after all. Oh. There's actually a bullet in it. Ah, so that's what it is. Th this is the first time I've seen one. Wow, really? <laughs> You could have said something earlier. That really surprised me. <laughs> well, I, I'm telling you now. The moment you brought it up, I'm telling you. <laughs> what the hell are these things? Look like little Tamagotchis. It's a collection of colorful personal security alarms. They all seem to have been used before. The president, he sure is a nice guy. He bought these security alarms to protect his wife and kids. Then why would he leave them all here? It's obvious that they're for his own personal use. Objection! A single person can't carry that many security alarms. Because a person only has two hands. <laughs> that objection is worth zero points. Bravo. Shut up. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and examine my logical here. Hmm. When I use logic, I have to sniff my finger really hard. <sighs> uh. So we have Rook's gun has fired a single shot, manufactured in Zing Fa, six shot revolver. Then we have a, an, another sh six shot revolver, a gun that is prohibited in this country. So can I, can, by saying that, say it's one of the bodyguard's guns? Go for it! Connect gun! Yeah! These two guns, they're the exact same model. These guns came from Zeng Fa. Oh yeah, baby. Looks like all the bodyguards were provided with guns from Zeng Fa. Indeed. This guns are rare? No, not particularly. I have a couple here myself. Whoa, bang, bang, bitch. They're not easy to obtain domestically, but it isn't impossible either. Might be a treasure. Yes, it's un it's unfortunate. 
Eh? Mr. Edgeworth? Are you talking about treasure? Not quite. <laughs> if it was a rare model, it would have been, been easier to identify. Even, even evidence can become treasure. I see. Even during your investigations, you search for treasure. Well, I didn't quite say that. <laughs> okay, let's investigate. Where's the treasure? Tell me, Edward! <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Stop taking me! Suddenly, she's motivated. Okay. A uh, bullet to pierce through the victim's body where to go. Oh, oh, I I see. Okay, it pierced, it went through his body and hit the, the bulletproof vest of, I guess, the president behind him. Wow, holy shit. That is hardcore. Two bullets were fired. We know, know that from the number of gunshots. One hit the steel samurai balloon and the other took Rook's life. But didn't the bullet also hit the president's bulletproof vest? Right, it doesn't, doesn't match up with the, the number of shots. However, there's only, there is one way to solve this. One way? The bullet that stole Rook's life pierced through his body and then hit the vest. In other words, Rook and the president were hit by the same bullet. I see. Th th that's right. It'd be dangerous if he hadn't worn that bulletproof vest. Is the president all right? Even while, while wearing a bulletproof vest, you can still get injured. Yeah, the bullet's impact can still fracture your bones. But don't worry, he's fine. The president's trained himself like no other. I know. Oh, Lord, I know. Good God. He had biceps on his fucking biceps. Maybe the president didn't even need a bulletproof vest. I bet he didn't. Sexy motherfucker. Gonna flex that shit right out of his body. Urgh! I think that might be pushing it. <laughs> I'd like to examine the bullet. There's a chance there may, there may still be ballistic markings. Ballistic markings? What's that? Ballistic markings are always left on a bullet. Each gun leaves it on a different marking. So if we examine the ballistic ballistic markings, we'll we'll know which gun the bullet was fired from. You could say they're like a gun's fingerprints. I get it now. Let's investigate right away. I think that'd be difficult. The bullet was completely flattened when it hit the the bulletproof vest. There's no way you can investigate the ballistic markings. What? I wanted to investigate them. Mm. Hmm. I'm trying to see. Can I connect these? Go for it! Connect, maybe! Nope! <laughs> hmm. Not exactly a shining example of the perfect line of logic. Ah! You know, if I'm just thinking this shit to myself, why does it blow up my HP bar, huh? <laughs> Do, am I just, is that just me losing confidence in myself? The internal and external views of the plane are being monitored by these, these monitors. Oh, here we go. I won't rest until I've expected every suspicious looking weird bull plushy thing. Seriously, what the hell is that? <laughs> what's what's this thing? Oh, that's the president's precious stuffed animal. <laughs> uh, say it, come again. I don't really get it, but it's some kind of keepsake. Don't touch it. Precious, my precious. That's unexpected. Hey, it kind of looks like there's been a break in. Indeed, the area it stands on does look a bit unnatural. Oh, the yeah. Hmm, are those glass shards underneath the stuffed animal? I thought it was its own monitor and was showing up on a monitor, but it's just in its own little cubby there. It's a natural empty space, perhaps? Was there another monitor here? Hmm, okay. Oh. Now then, I've grown wary of this investigation. Ah, still no sign of a detective gumshoe. Fucking gumshoe! Mr. Prosecutor, have you uncovered the truth yet? No, not yet, but I will. <laughs> I see. In that case, would you like to speak with someone who is involved in the incident? Someone involved in the incident? Y you mean? Is there not one more witness just behind those doors? Of course, the president himself, that weird centaur looking guy. Well, Mr. Prosecutor, please do the honors and summon the witness here. There's no chance in hell I'm letting that happen. You think you could just summon the president like a witness in court? Ah, ha! Mr. President, I'm sure you are watching all this through your security cameras. Would you kindly grace us with your presence? That is, if you value your bodyguard's life. <laughs> okay, I'm seriously killing him now. Really? I'm gonna do it! I see. M Mr. President, what sort of man leaves another to die on his behalf? Mr. President! 
Stop it! Take it easy! Hey! Still nothing. Come on, did I get gumshoe? Ah! What? The lights! My apologies, Mr. Prosecutor, but I wouldn't try anything if I were you. Seems I am un unable to reach the president, even with Mr. Knightley's life. S stop! Ah! Okay, to kill her, you. However, I haven't already. S I have already seen the truth. Wait, where, where is he? Oh shit! Did he grab K instead? Oh! Oh fuck! Oh! I leave the rest in your hands, Mr. Prosecutor. Damn, dude! Fucking badass! Fare thee well. He just flies off into space. Edge. Stretchworth! Ten oh, ten and gum shoe! Ah, sorry, I was in my throat there. Mr. Howard! Sir! Hey! Ow! Edgy got a boo-boo on his head. March 25th, 4 40, 45 p.m. President's plane office. <laughs> did, did I pass out? Mr. Howard, thank God you safe! Oh my God, I was so worried about you! Mr. Stretchworth, are you okay? Hey, what about you? I woke up myself. I thought he was switching. I thought maybe he was switching to, to grab K instead and maybe thought that would be like, I don't know, would coax him to coming out. It's throbbing a bit, but it's no big deal. Hey, Gumshoe, what happened to the killer? Uh, <laughs> I was scared, so I ran away from him, sir. Miss Swift came running out of the plane. She told us the killer made her, made her run for it, but we were too late, sir. Heard from the bot that bodyguard. Wait, I'm sorry, but nobody already have this place like surrounded so nobody can leave. How the fuck did he get out? Because we're all really bad at our job, sir! That emergency lifeboat over there, ha heavens. Oh, oh. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's it. It's probably at the other side of the lake by now, sir. Didn't you seal off the park? Uh, police were all called call back to, to surround the plane. Right now, there's no one guard guarding the opposite, opposite shore. Ah, that means he succeeded in giving us the slip. Sure, it seems that way, sir. Mr. Prosecutor. Horace Knightley, it seems you also had a narrow escape. What, what the fuck are you doing with your fingers? Uh, looks like you're doing like air quotes or something. I was almost killed by that assassin. Pretending he's holding the gun, right? I guess, right? I, well, no, I wouldn't use two fingers like, like on the trigger. I, I don't know what he's fucking doing. Yeah, that sucked, that punk. I don't think of it. I found this near where, where he fell, sir. This is the killer's calling card. That fucking seashell. Looks like a message from him. Hmm. He always leaves this card, his card next to his victim's body. You're not dead, sir. Perhaps this signifies something sl similar to a killing. Which reminds me, the last thing he said still bothers me. However, I've already seen the truth. I leave the rest in your hands, Mr. Prosecutor. Seen the truth? What do you mean? Yeah, it's safe now. Hmm, what was that? The president will be making his entrance now. The, the president? Holy diesel pants! Wow! Oh! Right! Dude, you are totally gonna being evil, aren't you? Your face looks so. I mean, come on, look at that face. That looks like the face of a villain. This man is the president of Zengfa. Daijun Wang. Guys, everyone in that country just fucking jacked? You are. It's an honor to meet you. My name is Miles Edgeworth. I, and I, I am a prosecutor. I am Dijun Wang. I've heard of your deeds. You saved my country from a great crisis. Is he referring to the Yadagrasu Yata case? I'm simply solving a murder, nothing more. You know what? What's on the card? I kinda wanna see. Oh, I can't! Such modesty. I have been observing your investigation. An astounding performance, despite allowing the killer to get away. Thank you very much! So he was watching through the security cameras. Wow, dude! Way to totally leave your dude to die! However, I regret that it ends here. What? What do you mean? Oh, you are totally evil. You're gonna be in on this shit, somehow. Heed my words, foolish prosecutor. You should have have already been informed by Knightley. 
This investigation will only be handed over to the esteemed police force of Zengfa. Now that the killer's gone, they intend to take over the investigation. Hey, pal, what are you doing? What's with that attitude? It's because of the killer, Mr. Edworth, that... Enough, detective. Mr. President, I cannot agree to this. Why must this investigation be handed over to your country's police? To cover this shit up, right? Why, you say? Know your place, puny prosecutor. Puny human. Or must I explain my actions? Nay, I think not. You shall hand over all the evidence you found so far and leave this plane at once. Well, I burn it in that fire there. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, be a good boy and do as you're told. Ah, ah, no, don't touch me. Ah, 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 I'm very sensitive. No, ah, ah, he's, he's twisting my nipples. He's twisting my nipples. Ow, ow, ow. I, I cannot resist any longer. Ah, ah. <laughs> no, I'm very ticklish. Ah, ah, ah. All the evidence handed over to the nightly. Oh, shit. Well, fuck me sideways. Why? Why won't he allow me to investigate the case any further? Now then, would you kindly take your leave? Nightly, place the suspect under firm restraint. I'm on it, Mr. President. Oh, uh, holy shit. Uh, I will yell at the heavens now. Is this what you asked for, God? What are you waiting for? In an attempt on my life, the murder of my subordinate. Such evil, such sin. I, I, I didn't kill nobody. I, I swear. Shut your trap, lady. Uh, uh. You dare question me. You dare stay in this world with deceit. We should, should we pardon this sin? Nay, absolutely not. It is most unforgivable. My reasons being. There's no mistake. The president is hiding something. <laughs> wow, is he still talking? Blah, 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 blah. Wow, God, he is a big fucking mouth, doesn't he? Look at that, uh, look at that jawline. If I turn back now, the truth will be lost forever. Mr. Edward! Mr. Edgeworth, is there nothing you can do? Hmm. I remember the countless times I faced this dilemma in the courtroom. And also last game, the lies of the witness, the rebuttals of the defense, and fucking right, that sexy little bitch. I did not always have the evidence to counter them. Nonetheless, I was still able to draw out the truth from them. That's right, my words alone are my weapons. I can open my mouth real wide too! Ah! Oh, silly booger. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's time for a game of fucking chess. Now then, let's analyze the situation. Hmm. Wow, look at him breathing de heavily. <laughs> Leave this place at once. This is a direct order from the president himself. He's not, he's not even listening. Any rebuttal I give, he cuts off. When he has that forceful attitude, I'll need to watch, watch the situation carefully. My op opponent is the president of Zeng Fa. I don't think he'll show any weakness easily. His words may be overbearing, but I need not be intimidated, for I am Edgeworth. Hear me roar! If I observe his behavior closely, I should be able to read his emotions. First, I'll start by asking about his reasons for taking over the investigation. Now, let's begin! A good opening line will put, put me at an advantage. Logic chess, begin! All right. Please allow me to confirm something about the investigation. Nay, I don't recall granting you permission to speak. I shall wait and see. I am the president of Zeng Fa. You shall not talk back to me. I'm not talking by, back. I'm simply asking for confirmation. This investigation will be taken over by the police of your country. Is that correct? Exactly. That is all I will say. Restrain yourself from making any more unnecessary comments. I think I will restrain myself? <laughs> Haven't you realized it yet? I have you cornered. Ah! Or not. Nonsense. You're just wasting my time with pointless chatter. Ah, shit. That was a needless sh that was a needless statement. So I'm being by his words. I observe his behavior closely. I should be able to read his emotions. Okay, I just gotta keep waiting then. Wait and see again. Hm, that's enough. Being on this plane is tent tantamount to being in all my country's soil. You cannot do as you please. This plane? Is there anything there's something significant about this this place? I should remember this clue. Explain your reasons! Tell me! I'd like you to explain your reasons for depriving us of our right to investigate. You be it, fool! Hold your tongue! There is no reason that should, should be enough explanation for you. 
Hmm, perhaps the clue may be useful here. Is it connected to this place? Gathering from what you said so far, does that forceful attitude of yours have some, have some connection to this place? Ah! Eat that, horsey. Huh, you insolent. Earlier you said that being on this plane is like being on your country soil. From those words, I was able to deduce the answer. Namely, that is, you wish to claim extraterritorial rights inside this plane. And trust me, I know all about that shit from the last case of the other of the previous game. <laughs> Way more than I wanted to. Am I correct? <laughs> That's enough. I shall brook no insolence. Uh, you seem unsettled. Uh, your wor words are forceful, but I cannot overlook them. The moment I mention extraterritorial rights, your your face grew pale. Ah! Hmm. In light of your bra brazen courage, I shall grant you an answer. That's right, I am claiming extraterritorial rights inside this plane. However, what does that change? You are still powerless. There is nothing you can do about it. I see. Under international law, the plane would be considered part of Zeng Fa. How convenient. Huh. If he wishes to stake his claim, then I shall question its validity. Heal, Edgeworth. Next move will decide the outcome. He may be the president, but there is a hole in his logic. Let me break it wide open. Wide and bare. Is your claim valid? I challenge the validity of your claim to extraterritorial rights. Do you truly understand what it is you're saying? Of course, and I stand by it. You dare doubt my words. You have no shame. Wait and see. It seems like I think maybe it's just better to wait and see. I, Cause I don't think that I don't think I could ever get harm from a wait and see. Such irredeemable ignorance. It troubles me greatly. There's no need to worry. I do not need to be saved. It's Miss Swift whom I wish to save from these false charges that you have laid against her. I admire your tenacity. However, your wish is unattainable. The extraterritorial territoriality laws are unshakable. This plane is Zangval territory. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. All right. Just try another line of attack. You're being too forceful. For me to say this, don't you feel that your actions are, are too forceful? Who are you who asked you for your opinion? All you need to do is obey. <laughs> forceful is the wrong word. It is authority, leadership. So you arrested Miss Swift because you felt you had the authority to do so. Yes, that girl is a criminal. There is no room for dispute. Uh, wait and see. The shooting took place outside the plane. Only she could have done it. That's it. That sh the shooting occurred outside the plane. This could be a very important clue. There we are. Now is my claim valid. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Hmm, it's time to use that clue. Oh, oh, you done fucked yourself, son. Indeed, I do not question your extraterritorial rights inside this plane. However, you just claim that the shooting took place outside the plane. Yes, if it didn't happen inside the plane, extraterritorial rights do, laws do not apply. Ah, your claim has fallen apart. This was arrest is invalid. Impossible. This is actually kind of a cool mechanic. I, I like this. To be bested by a mere prosecutor, I am the president! Checkmate, Mr. Fucking President. Suck my balls, bitch. Yeah. Your ball sucking has healed Edgeworth's, <laughs> Edgeworth's bar. Logic test complete. I like to think I yell that every time I, that happens. Begin investigation! Investigation complete! Uh, uh, Mr. Edgeworth, what, what what are you doing? What does it look like, hey? I'm yelling! Mr. President, will you allow us to continue with our investigation? I yield. I will allow it. My heart is generous. My heart, my heart is tolerant and merciful. Therefore, oh, oh that fucking bicep. Oh, damn, our auto scrolling. Certainly, thus we shall. It is our duty for our most notable cause. Gentlemen, now is the time. I, the president of Zeng Fa, for the sake of our, the investigation. This guy sure likes to be, beat around the bush. 
Nightly, we have received the president's permission, I, I think. <laughs> we do return our evidence. <sighs> Here. Now they return all of the evidence. Hot dog. You did it, Mr. Edward. Indeed, now we can resume the investigation. <laughs> it's funny how hap happy you are just because I gave you your precious pieces back. Now let's see how well you used them. Huh, pay attention then. Here is my next move. Mr. President, may I make one more request of you? Hmm? Would you please testify about the moment of the incident? Testify. Hey, hey, hold on a second. That's your next move. Isn't that sort of thing you'd leave to the courts? Of course not. This is Edward Investigations. I do this shit on sight. I'm not a pussy like Phoenix where I have to wait till a fucking given day. I have to deal with that senile old man who gets horny about turkey sandwiches and some weird white ear kid with crazy luck. Naturally, it's our courtroom procedure. However, I'd still like to hear what he has to say. He refuses to cooperate with uh, the investigation. He will have to give a clear reason. Th that, that's something wrong. Knightley, stand down. I shall grant the honorable prosecutor's request. I thank you for your cooperation. I bow to thee. Now, heed my words. <laughs> yeah? President's testimony. Where was I when the incident occurred? Ah, yes, the stage. Then, Rook and Knightley suddenly appeared and stood in front of me. After that, I heard a gunshot and a red balloon bursting. And so, those two attempted to escort me into the plane. But then, the second gunshot. The bullet pierced through the Brooks party and struck my bulletproof vest. Mm. That's the case in the presence of victim two, right? It was an assassination attempt. Mr. Rook just happened to get caught up, caught up in it, unfortunately. This is strange. Why would the victim want to interrupt the investigation? Of course, if this becomes public, it would cause problems. I see. There's still some deep, dark secret behind this case, right? Certainly, the, the president, and perhaps Knightley too, knows of this secret. Without fail, I shall reveal it all for, for reveal it for all to see. Bare and naked. Okay, what kind of threw me off there was when he said the red balloon. Okay, where's it occurred? On the stage, where can Knightley suddenly appeared? It's in front of me. That I heard a gunshot and a red balloon bursting. I guess it was kind, kind of red. Still samurai balloon? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, oh, I guess not really red enough. His pants are red, but a red balloon burst. I'm afraid that's not the case. What? Please have a look at this piece of evidence. Can you see what has burst? No. Uh, is it, are you about to vomit? This is, what exactly? Huh. It's a steel samurai, warrior of Neil Tokyo, and my fucking savior. You'll do well to remember that. If you wish to win the support of this nation's people. Don't forget the rival show, the Jamin Ninja. No, fuck that guy. The balloon that was ruptured by the bullet was no ordinary red balloon. It was a steel samurai balloon. But according to the plans, there should have been two red balloons. It says so right here in the security plan. So it looks like there are only two, ra two round balloons drawn here. Knightley, what is the meaning of this? Explain it once. Yes, sir. That steel samurai balloon was a last minute replacement. Replacement? That's what we were told. Seems like, seems that information didn't make it to the present. We ran into a little trouble during last setup last night. One of the balloons that had been prepared burst. So, you scrammed to find a replacement? Exactly. We just happened to run into a guy manning a stand in the park. That was me, dude! He said he'd lend us a Steel Samurai Balloon. Wonderful Larry. Oh god, I hope Larry doesn't show up in this game. Right, please, for the love of god. If he doesn't show up at once in this game, then this will officially be the best fucking Ace Attorney ever. <laughs> he was kind of a poser. Stand, a Steel Samurai Balloon, and a poser. Oh god, no, oh my god, it totally is him. I didn't even say, I don't know what he was talking about in the plans to say there was a red balloon. He, he didn't say anything about that. I guess it just shows the big round balloons to the side there, but we pumped air into its red samurai pants to create a makeshift balloon. Oh. So the steel samurai balloon just looked just like an ordinary red balloon. Is that what you mean? Knightley. Oh. Knightley, why was I not informed of this? Sir, I'm terribly sorry. But does, does it really matter? <laughs> I think it was important enough to report. Couldn't you tell by just looking at it? Hmm. Did not notice it. 
So you mistook the Steel Samurai's pants for an ordinary balloon. Was there a reason why you made that mistake? Oh! What, what now? <laughs> I need to pee! Moment, please, I just remember now. I could not see the balloon very well. You couldn't see it? Exactly, at the time, the wind was strong. The flags on the, the stage were fluttering wildly and the, obstructed my view. The flags? Uh, should not see the flag. Flags that were set up on both sides of the stage. Due to the strong winds, they were waving about. Just like this. Uh, but we know that's not possible, right? Because, uh, or, may or maybe it is. And that, that would suggest then that the, the trajectory of the bullet actually came from his side, not from, from the, in the audience. So strong a wind, so a strong wind was blowing at the time of the incident. The flags were fluttering wi wildly. Is there a problem with that? Absolutely. President Wang, you have my gratitude. Your testimony has helped uncover a new contradiction. A contradiction, you say? Yes, one that turns the very foundation of this case on its head. During my investigation, there was no wind at the crime scene, so the flags remained still. However, the flags were actually fluttering in the strong wind. This completely changes the meaning of that piece of evidence. Which evidence contradicts the state of the crime scene? This, the, this one. ta -da! The gunshot rang out during the president's speech. The bullet struck, struck the balloon. And also pierced through the nation's, the, the, the national flag. I previously deduced the bullet's directory using these facts. The assassin fired the bullet from the left side of the, the audience area. However, if the flags were fluttering about like so, my reason cha reasoning changes. Ah, since the flag's position has changed. Correct, the bullet's trajectory must also change. Yes. If we trace the trajectory of the bullet, we can, t we can tell who fired the shot. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth, that person is. Indeed. I still don't understand why. However, it can be none other than him. Placing the bullet's path, who was the person who fired the gun? <laughs> the president. Uh, it's gotta be uh, Nightly. Take that. The person who shot the balloon was none other than you, Horace Nightly. But what? And connect the bullet holes in the balloon and the flag and the line points to you. That guy's one of the president's bodyguards. Why would he have to shot the steel samurai balloon, sir? Preposterous. I agree with the detective. There is no reason. Are you saying that's likely who would have saved my life on numerous occasions as an assassin? Prosecutor Edgeworth, I've had it up to here with you. My job is to protect the president. Knightley, control yourself. Sorry, sir. Prosecutor, indeed the wind was strong during my speech. However, the wind's strength can change very quickly. Evidence, show us evidence the flag was flying at the moment of the gunshot. Gunshot occurred the moment the president raised his fist to the sky. The evidence that shows this moment is, I was saying it, was it the, was it the reporter? She said that the president raised his fist in the air. The atmosphere here is up, is born to a fever. That, that doesn't show anything. Any, maybe one of these pictures then. Oh, is that the flag right there? It is, it's right there. The evidence is in this photo. Interesting, and where in this photo exactly? Proof that the flag was fl flying in this photo is right here, duh, dude. Don't you see, the fluttering flag can be seen in this photo. No, no. There is no mistaking, mistaking that the flags were flying at the moment of the incident. So, so then, it really was the guy who shot the, the, shot the balloon. That would mean me, Mr. Knightley is the assassin. Horace Knightley is. No, I mean, it wouldn't mean anything. He shot He shot to the left. I don't know why he would, but his, the president was just to his other side, so he's not the assassin. Horace Knightley is not the assassin. The only thing he shot was a balloon and a balloon on the opposite side of the president. He wasn't aiming at the president. Why? Why was it necessary for me to do a thing like that? Depending on your answer, I might take aim at your pretty, pretty little head. <laughs> Why was it necessary? I presume the reason is connected to the one thing that's felt out of place. 
The one who shot the balloon was the president's bodyguard, Knightley. In fact, that fact will change the entire viewpoint of this case. Maya! Nice position. Knightley shot the balloon. Well, his head couldn't turn right, so he couldn't. So he, he turned left. And I'm not really sure why. He can't turn his head right. So, what's the significance of that exactly? Why was Knightley's position changed? Because I can't turn my head to the right. My position got changed to the president's left side. In other words, I was relocated to the right of the stage. Is that really the only reason? If the plans had not changed, Knightley remained on the left side of the, of the stage. Knightley can't turn his head to the right. Would he have been able to aim at the, at the balloon on the left side of the stage? Perhaps the security plans were altered so that Knightley could shoot the balloon. If that's the case, What's this? Details of the security plans were changed. Yeah, that's right. I was changed yesterday. President's orders. Security plans were changed on the president's orders. Uh, they trying to, what? Was it like a publicity stunt? Where are we going with this? So it's premeditated. Change the security plans. Go for it. Connect far. In other, in other words, the president knew about the balloon being shot. He knew about the attempt on his own life. Think about it that way. Everything that's been out of the place is beginning to add up. Why was the assassin able to get the gun past such tight security? Why was the assassin wearing a conspicuous red hood? Why did they use a laser sight that was so easily reveal their location? And why was the president so calm after being shot? This is the truth, the president and his subordinates tried to conceal. Get ready, I'm about to put my finger. Ready? There can only be one reason for why Knightley fired the gun. Ah! <laughs> the entire assassination was set up. <laughs> I like you can always tell when I'm about to do it because I, my sprite moves back a little bit. Eh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Eh. How dare you? Do you seriously understand what, you, what you're implying with this? Of course I understand. In fact, now I understand everything. I can see clearly now the bullshit is gone. Mr. President, you wish to take the investigation rights from me. That was all so you could conceal the truth, the real truth. But how dare you mock me with those spurious allegations. Mock you? That was not my intention. I simply use logic to cover the truth in big orange letters. That is all. Natalie fired the first shot in order to rupture the balloon. Hearing the gunshot and the sound of the balloon bursting, the audience began to panic. This was followed by one more shot. Wait, one more shot? Yes, I only turned towards the balloon and pulled the this trigger a second time. The second gunshot was also fired by Knightley to create the illusion of the second shot hitting the president. What about the bullet that hit the president's bulletproof vest? What if that bulletproof vest had been prepared in advance? <laughs> What's the matter, Mr. President? Afraid of facing a little bullet? Hold it. That's not true. I was definitely shot. We examine the bullet in your vest. It would answer the question for us. Will we find Rook's blood on that bullet? No, but the person in the red hood who shot me is that... Is in that photo. I... I'm so confused. Why the fuck would he do this? Just a publicity stunt? I... Did you want to start something with, like... I don't know, war with somebody? I, I'm so confused. Objection! Why aren't you listening, Mr. President? From the bullet's trajectory, the one who fired the shot must have been Knightley. Then, then Nicole. She too was part of the president's plan. She was to bear the blame and become the false assassin. The red hooded figure. Exactly, I don't know how much of the plan Miss Swift knew beforehand. However, she didn't fire the gun. All she did was aim the laser pointer at the president's head. Th 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 that's right. Uh, uh. I see. Once the crowd began to panic, you would turn your park inside out. And thus the red hooded figure vanished. After that, you discarded the gun and secure security plan in the trash. And the illusion of the assassin, assassin vanishing like a ghost was complete. And with the assassin, assassin gone, the case would go on so, pal. 
Yes, that's what he, we hope for. That's why he wouldn't let Mr. Edgeworth investigate the case. Exactly. All of this was an assassin I publicity stuff from a lying president. Oh, it was. All right. What the fuck? But you, you. Uh... <laughs> Holy. Uh... Ah! Oh, we. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, my dieselness. You are wrong. I. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so funny. So he basically he basically exhaled, so it showed that he was like he was sucking in his gut the whole time. <laughs> wow, holy shit, dude. <laughs> I will say though, you got some serious muscles under that fat. You are wrong, I You reveal this true demon form. The assassin's a lie, isn't it, you fat fuck? The chief, why did he have to pick you? This should not have happened. Objection! Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, that was me. Well play, Mr. Prosecutor. <laughs> not, not nightly. I am speaking with the president for now. Thank you very much. Go sit down. You go sit in the corner. Oh, that's not good. You're a chess player. You know knights always strive to protect their king. Mm -hmm. Oh, over the back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So shut up now. Now. Are, are you threatening me, Mr. Knightley? I'm putting a gun at you. What do you, what do you fucking think? I don't know. Maybe? Oh, I was with this guy. Oops, sorry. I went over the top there. But on to business. As my first move, I want to ask you a question. You say I fired a gun on the stage, right? Then I should have been caught. The entire audience is watching me. I see. Now it's, now it's my move. No, it, it's because it was behind the, the, the little suitcase thing he was holding. Use a certain object to prevent the spectators from seeing you. A certain object? What did he use? Duh! The attaché case. Exactly. I'd like you to have a look at this photo Kate took. Your right hand is completely hidden by the case. This photo captures the exact moment you secretly fired the gun. You use the attaché case as a screen. Objection! Objection. You seem to enjoy making up convenient stories, Mr. Prosecutor. But you missed something. And what have I missed? That everything you said is just a hypothesis, a theory. Flags flapping in the wind, using this case as a, wind, as a screen. The security plans were modified because I can't move my neck. You've got no decisive evidence. Ah! Yeah, it'd be great if you had a bullet that hit the balloon. Then you could examine it and see if the ballistics markings match my gun. But that bullet's probably at the bottom of the lake. Finding it would be real tough, right? I need to admit it, but it's as he says. There's no decisive evidence. Fuck me. I feel like this happens all the damn time. There's no proof, then the only thing you can do is shut up. So do so. Uh. Hold it. Hold it. I was beat, motherfucker. Miss Swift. If she was in on it, though, she can she can she can testify, right? I, I own. That's it, she speaks, we could hear new testimony. Hey lady, you got something to say? Uh, 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 never mind. There we go, I thought so. Nicole, come on, man! Don't be afraid, the truth will escape if you let that man intimidate you. You're a reporter, a journalist, are you not? I, I, I will not remain silent! You better consider your position. Use your head before saying something you'll regret. I forgot the number number one rule of journalism. Journalism must not tell lies. You can't call a scoop if it ain't the truth. Mr. Edward, I'm sorry. I've been hiding this the whole time. This is? I used this laser board to give it to the, the president. That's all I did. I never fired the gun. You stupid woman. If you testify, you'll be admitting to an accomplice. Well, I mean, I don't understand. So, would it, what would have happened if this had just gone away? Wouldn't she have been arrested and taken in, or would she, or would they have just dropped the case with her and she would have gotten away essentially? I, I, I guess that might be, must be it, because they said that the case would go unsolved, right? So they would have just let her go. So why does she agree with it? I guess just to get get a big scoop. I, I guess. I, I don't care. I'm gonna tell him everything. Three days ago, I was covering an event at the Zinc Volume Embassy. 
disappear presence until the president's been called me over. Said if I cooperated, I'd get an exclusive interview with the president. Ah, uh, there we go. And the gun in the trash. I really don't know. All I was told was to come wear, wear the red hood. I aim the laser board. But it still doesn't explain how that guy died, right? I never thought we'd snowball into all this. I'm really, truly sorry. Cole, thank you. That was a testimony worthy of the courtroom. High five. Sufficient testimony to verify the, the fake assassination plot. Damn you, the lot of you. You're all a bunch of mindless morons. It's a shame, if only you had been able to usurp the investigation as planned. You would have been able to silence this young lady. Oh, huh, blast. <laughs> right in the face. Tomorrow's headlines now read, fake assassination plan exposed becomes a murderer. Right? I can't believe that you do something this horrible, pal. I, I admit nothing. Oh, hold it. The president. Nightly, that's enough. We have no choice but to admit, admit it. So, Mr. President, you admit that you planned a fake assassination? Yes, I, I admit it. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> he's like trying to, he's trying to put his face back up to the way it was. But why, why did you do this? My approval ratings is ain't far fallen. I wanted to appeal to them as a strong president who survived an assassination attempt. But in the end, it was just a lie, a stupid lie. And the bullet in the bulletproof vest. Prepared earlier, I was not fired. It was not fired today. I see. But what about Mr. DeKiller? It seems our plan was leaked. Someone wanted to make this fake assassination real. That's why DeKiller wore the red raincoat. What? He would impersonate the, cu the culprit from the plane. In, or, in order to approach the president. But there's no one thing I don't understand. What's that? Why did Rook die? Yeah, that's what I was, His death was not a part of this charade. And yet it really happened. And neither was my face falling like this. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, why was his life taken? Ethan was an outstanding bodyguard. Even though he wasn't from my country, he had my utmost trust. Uh-oh. I wouldn't think that having the trust of a cowardly president meant that much, honestly. Hey, that's the, sa the same sort of bond between me and that Mr. Edward, pal. I wouldn't put it that way. <laughs> Did Rook know of your plan? Not into the exact details. I asked him to cooperate, and he refused. You should have listened to his advice, dumb fuck. Yes, indeed. I wouldn't have done all this if I had known. <laughs> you're, you're being too dramatic. Wh what? What? Rook was just one piece of the president's defense. N nightly, well, that's... And it's not as if he cooperated with your plan. I did. He ran away, taking, with, taking whatever dignity he had left with him. Good riddance. I know you're a valuable bodyguard, but still... I don't have time for this, sir. And I'm the team leader now. There's going to be a lot of changes now that the chicken's gone. Wow, dude, could you make it any more fucking obvious of your, of your motive in this? After all, adaptation is the most important principle in chess. I knew you always wanted to be the team leader. But, isn't this a bit Im Im impudent? Im imprudent? Heh, <laughs> I will also even more if you plans just like this one. You definitely have ambition. But wasn't your perfect plan today a failure? If it weren't for you and that idiot Rook, it would have been perfect. What did Rook, Rook do? If he had died, the killer wouldn't have threatened me. And you would have never set foot in this plane. Knightley, how can you say such a thing? Yeah, he died trying to save you, Mr. President. Maybe he fulfilled his lifelong ambition. He died protecting the president. Huh? But the assassination was fake, right? Of course it was. Do you need to listen closer, little girl? Remember the guy you wanted to make the fake assassination real? There were two gunshots at the time of the incident. The first was as you said. I shot the balloon. But... The second wasn't me. So who fired the second shot? The real assassin. But it wasn't the killer. He intended to attack the president with a knife, not a gun. The lucky winner was the hot hidden queen. Or should I say the lady in the coat over there? Ah! You're accusing a call, pal? What? I, I ain't no assassin! Really? I don't believe you. The gun that was left in the trash. That was yours, right? Uh.
I, oh my god, this fucking, this, is, this first case, case is pretty damn good. It's taking so many fucking twists. Miley's testimony. I shot the balloon into the plane with Rook and the president. Rook wanted, wanted wait in the cabin while I led the president to the security room. When I came out, Rook was already on the ground. Bullet that lady fired must have hit him while he escorted the president to the plane. But shot was fired from the gun you found in the trash. Wait, wait. Didn't that gun have two shots fired? It did, though, right? Two bullets. And we assumed it was... Yeah, two shots been fired. So that can't be right. So you're saying you don't know exactly when the victim was shot. A knight's job isn't to protect the rook. It's to protect the king. Huh? What he's trying to say is that his job is to protect the president only. It's over if you lose the king. Checkmate. That's the first rule of chess. If you let your pieces get taken right in front of you, you're not likely to win. But I did win. Look, the president is safe. Huh. Don't claim victory when the game has only just begun. How about the... Not I, Rebute, your Rebutal. Okay, shot the balloon and entered the plane with Rook and the president. Rook waited in the cabin while I led the president into the security room. When I came out, Rook was already on the ground. The bullet that Lady Fire must have hit him while he escorted the president of the plane. The shot was fired from the gun you found in the trash. It is. Objection. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, silly Cooper head. It had two shots fired from it. So you shot the balloon and Miss Swift shot Rook. Rook. Is that really true? I can't see it any other way. The gun we discovered in the trash was fired twice. The number of gunshots don't add up. Uh, ooh! <laughs> Why don't the gunshots add up? It's simple. This gun is fake evidence left behind by the real criminal. Fake evidence? Think about it. The criminal planted this for a reason. By finding the gun, we'd assume that the ass assassin was in the audience in order to make us believe that the gun was used by the assassin. The gun needed to appear as if it had been fired twice. I get it because two shots were fired during the incident. However, we proved that the bullet that hit the balloon did not come from this gun. Therefore, I have my doubts as to whether this gun also took Rook's life. <laughs> Here it comes. You're back in some serious heat. Enough with the song and dance. You've come this far. Go ahead and say it. I won't just say it. I'll prove it. Now, behold! The one who shot... Who really shot Rook is... Da -da 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 He's actually... Was it him? Yeah, okay. Horace Knightley, you murdered Rook. Heh, <laughs> you finally said it. N Knightley, you, you couldn't have. The killer wasn't the only one who took the advantage of the, the fake assassination plot. You intend to murder Rook and claim he was a victim of the assassination. I mean, I understand he's got the motive and shit, but I, I'm like, how did he do it exactly? I guess did he just, I guess after fi firing the first shot, he just, aim he just aimed blindly to the right? But I feel like he would have risked hitting the, the president, too. Once the president entered the security room and the door into the plane was closed, only the victim and, the, and Knightley would have been left in this room. Oh, oh, I see. And at that moment, you fired a thir third bullet directly at Rook. Objection. Objection. Wow, even, wow, even these random dudes are getting their own holding objections. A third bullet. Ha, only two gunshots were heard. The numbers don't match up. The plane's walls are soundproof. The door was closed. The gunshot would not have been heard outside. But wasn't the president in the next room? That's true. The president may have heard the gunshot. Mr. President, did you hear a gunshot? But I, I didn't hear any gunshots. But were you watching this room through the security cameras? The cameras in this room aren't usually turned on. I turned on the power after I entered the security room. So you didn't turn on the power immediately after entering the room? Uh, no, actually, I, I... What? What is it? He's not being clear. <laughs> Mr. President, stop playing with your flabby face and focus. This is vital. Talk to me. I, I, I was... That is... I, 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 uh. Please? I was hiding under the bed, co covering my ears. What? Because you knew assassination was fake, you fucking pussy! Fuck you! <laughs> it doesn't matter. I simply hate the sound of guns. <laughs> the terrifying sound, I just can't help it. <laughs> you know, you start to look more like the cowardly lion. <laughs> With your face all floppy and shit. 
that that definitely ain't gonna win him article. <laughs> I liked it better when you were chiseled. Ahem. Yeah. All right. And nightly, you saw the president hiding under the bed. One little president jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Furthermore, you can tell if the security cameras have been turned on by looking at the monitors. In that, mo in that moment, when the president wouldn't he wouldn't hear the, the gunshot or see the room, you had a chance to fire the third bullet at Rook. Nightly, did you really? You deceived me? You really think I'd kill that moron? That's, that's cold, Mr. President. I have a little faith in me. The bodyguard who's risking his life to protect you. I, I want to believe you. I really do, but... Just don't get it. Why are you suspecting me alone? There's still the possibility that she's the killer. This gun is not the murder weapon. The number of missing bullets makes that clear. Dumb fuck. Well, maybe it was one sure to begin with. Ever think of it that? What? Maybe it already fired a shot yesterday, or the day before. And the second shot was fired today. The one that hit Rook. Well, isn't that just a perfect excuse? Excuse? The possibility exists. You can't deny that. He's right. I can't deny it completely. Fuck my balls. You need decisive evidence. Evidence so decisive that it makes my heart stop and my logic crumble. You got something like that? Ah, shit. I always hate it when I don't have that decisive evidence. Mr. Edgeworth, can you, can't you do anything? He's got me by the gonads, Kay. At this rate, Nicole will. Well, Mr. Prosecutor, it's true I, I did an awful thing for a scoop. But I never killed nobody. I, don't ne I could never do such a thing like that. Sights of evidence. If I could prove the murder weapon was Knightley's, Knightley's gun, proof it was his gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be great if you had that bullet that hit the balloon. But then you could examine it and see if the ballistic markings match my gun. If we can find the bullet that took Rook's, Rook's life. Oh, we can determine which gun fired the shot from the ballistic markings. I, oh, it's gonna be over there by the monkey or, or bull or whatever the hell it was. If you got no evidence, then we're done talking. Objection, Objection motherfucker! Hold it! W what You don't seriously have decisive evidence. Huh. Naturally. That's a big joke. Well, come on now, show us. That is a so-called evidence. The bullet that took Rook's life. Eh, that decisive evidence I need. This evidence. Do I have it? I... I... I do have it, right? It's the moderns. I have it right here. I have the bullet. Right, um, here. Somewhere. If the canary doesn't sing, just shoot. Or so the sink goes. So I hoped I'm gonna blast a hole in you. Right in your chest. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, oh, I didn't even get a chance to show it. Okay, I guess I had to, all right. I guess I have to first examine it before I could say that. Rook was killed here. I, I know what it is, so where did the bullet go? Come think of it, there's one thing in this room that's always felt out of place. Yes, I know that. I, I figured I'd just show him with the monitor thing. But okay, fine, I don't have it, I guess. I don't have it. Okay, okay, it's game over, man. It's game over, bro. However, it is somewhere in this room. Really? I, I still don't, I think I could have showed him the monitors. What? what? The bullet that killed Rook pierced through his body. So where did the bullet go? Earlier you explained it like this. The bullet that took Rook's life pierced through his body and then hit the vest. Th that, that's right. It'd be dangerous if he hadn't worn that bulletproof vest. However, now that the, the fake assassination plan has come to light, we know that, that the bullet in the bulletproof vest was prepared earlier. So then where did the bullet go? Interesting, very interesting. Do you have the answer? Do I have the answer to that? Sh okay, here we go. Now, yes, yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I, I still think I should have been able to fucking present it there. Take that. In this room, there is one thing that's clearly missing. Something missing? You sure it's not your brain? I'd like you to look at that rack of security monitors. Behold, it's Mr. Bull thing. Ah. Seems you've noticed, Mr. President. Among these images of the of the plane surrounding surroundings, only the feed from the right side of the plane is absent. That's what's missing. A single monitor. <sighs> Mr. 
It's President! There was originally a monitor here, wasn't there? That, that's right. Why is there a stuffed toy now? That must have been put there to hide the empty space where the monitor used to be. Well, I see. Why is the monitor missing and where did it go? I see. So he put it there and said, oh, it's a... It's this precious little plushy thing. He's like, don't look. Don't look at the fucking bullet hole that's behind it. Why? Undo indubitably. Because it was hit by the bullet. In, or in order to make us think that the bullet really hit the bulletproof vest. It would be a problem if another bullet hole was discovered. So then where did the monitor go? Where? It should be hidden somewhere inside this plane. There hasn't been a chance to dispose of it outside since it was shot. Standing up, shoe! Search the plane! Right that, sir! President Wang, said extraterritorial laws apply to this plane. I, I, I will allow it. There is no there is no problem. I just want to know the truth of Rook's death. D damn it. You think this is a joke? You're always like this. Rook this, Rook that. Detective, we have his approval. Go ahead. Ah. Uh, Mr. Howard, found it, sir. Good work, Detective. Now let's ex extract the bullet from the monitor. If I do this here and then do that, I got it. Well, it's definitely stained with blood. I'm certain this is the bullet that killed Rook. I got your bloody bullet right here. It's the bullet that will crush your arguments. Decisive evidence that blows a hole in your logic. And the ballistic markings on this bullet do not match the gun found in the audience area. Miss Swift will be cleared of suspicion. And you can get down and suck my balls again. What's wrong? Cat got your tongue, and you got your gun, bitch. Detective, we need to examine the ballistic markings. Send the gun and bullet to forensics. Roger! We should be able to find out the clear markings on this bullet, sir. Now, now then, let's listen to the forensics report. Reporting! First, the blood on this bullet matches the victim's blood. <laughs> He's like reading from a little cue card. And then, and so this bullet really did take Rook's life. Also, Horace Knightley's fingerprints were found on the gun on this gun. You stupid fucking idiot! If you're gonna murder somebody, wear at least wear fucking gloves. Knightley's nice fingerprints probably came from uh, from when he took all our evidence. The real issue is the is the ballistic markings. If the markings don't match, Miss Swift will be cleared of suspicion. And the bullets, ballistic markings. Uh oh. Match this gun. Ah, fuck it. Ah. What the fuck? Damn it. Ah, god damn it, Gumshoe. Why, what did I do? You set this up for me, didn't you? It's all your fault. Ah, go stand in the corner over there. Yes, sir. What? Th they match? What? N no way. There's no mistake. The bullet was fired for this gun. No, you fucked up. No, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. This is literally all I do. This, I'm the ballistic guy, right? I, I have to be a. No, you fucked up. You go in the corner, too. What? What? Ah, 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 ah. Ha, that's strange. Looks like I was right after all, naturally. Oh, what are you? What did I? Did you really think you had me cornered? I did when my music started playing. You misread the board. Ha, ah, yeah. The only one who's been cornered is you. You stop pointing your fucking gun at me, you ding dong. At least logic. If the ballistic markings match the gun, there can be no doubt. The bullet that killed Rook was fired from the gun you found in the audience area. Who could have who could have used the gun? Not me, because I was on stage. What about the lady reporter in the audience? All the evidence points to the young lady as the assassin who killed who killed Rook. Well, it's your move, Mr. Prosecutor. Where did, where did you find this gun again? And which gun fired the bullet? At least we know it ain't me. Ah, ah, ah. This can't be happening. Fuck! How? Seriously, how did he do that? I... President, I have admitted to the fake assassination plot. Now it's your turn to admit to who the real criminal is. That doesn't make Nicole the criminal. Don't get riled up, Kay. Let him have his fizzay first. After he's done, it won't be too late to begin our counterattack. All right, Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm. I really have no idea. Hold it! No, that's... Objection! Objection! Didn't you hear it? Didn't you say it earlier? This is the decisive evidence. Ah! Well, how does it feel to have a hole of blown through your reasoning? Ballistic markings match. The gun we found, so... 
Does that mean Nicole really was the shooter? I'd like to believe otherwise. But he's got decisive evidence on the side, sir. Um, indeed. How should I proceed? If Miss Swift isn't the killer, then the ballistic markings should not match. Thoughts, Kay? If the e evidence is impossible, then maybe we should should doubt the evidence itself, right? Doubt the evidence? I never doubt the evidence. You've learned nothing in the old, in, in the five minutes you've been my my sidekick. Nicole's definitely not a criminal. So if the evidence says that she's a criminal, there must be something wrong with it. You seem awfully sure of yourself. Did he switch out the guns? So he, he took our evidence away, right? I bet he switched out the gun. He must have switched to the laser pointer and put it on his gun originally. It's a great thief's intuition. Intuition. Still, it's quite possible. Above all, Miss Swift doesn't seem like the type of person to tell such elaborate lies. Hmm. In, in court, the evidence is everything. And yet here, I'm doubting it. Which evidence do I doubt? The gun, the bullets, neither. I think it's the gun. If anything's sus suspect here, it can only be the gun. The bullet was dis discovered just a moment ago. It couldn't ha have been tampered with yet. Did Knightley have a chance to tamper with the gun? We shall hand over all the evidence you've collected so far and leave this plane at home at once. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, be a good boy and do as you're told. Ah! I cannot resist any longer! We are just like Apollo Justice and showing a fucking shit ton of flashbacks, good lord. That's it! He could have tampered with the gun at that time. There's no doubt this gun is the real murder weapon. In that case, the owner of this gun is... Hey, this guy, right? Yeah. He must have switched the guns. Without a doubt, this is Knightley's own gun. Yes, fucking knew it. Bullet kill rogue was fire. Oh yeah, here we go. Objection! Objection! Wrong, 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 wrong. Knightley, you fiend, you switched the guns. The gun that matched the ballistic markings was yours all along. Heh. <laughs> Interesting choice of move you made there. Switch occurred at the time you seized the evidence. When we were arguing with the pre pre president over the investigation rights. You detached the laser sight from the gun found in the audience area. And attached it to your gun. Then you return the evidence you gave me. When you return the evidence, you gave me your own gun. <laughs> Did I do that? So what you're saying is that I knew you'd want to examine the ballistic markings. Indeed, staying one move ahead of your opponent. Isn't that a fundamental rule of chess? Woo! 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 I'm glad you feel that way, Mr. Prosecutor, but you're giving me too much credit. Besides, can you even prove I pulled the, oh, the old switcheroo with the guns? Uh, I think it's logic part two. Oh man, this thing's, this is a fucking long one. These, these, things, these things are going on for fucking ever. I mean, I don't mind, but it's like made these videos last so fucking long. So the gun happens to be a Zimbalo's mind, pure coincidence. But take a closer look. Only two of them has a laser pointer attached to it. Check the, check the number of bullets left in the chamber. Only two shots fired, see? There's no evidence that I switched the guns, right? Giving you too much credit, that hardly sounds like, like something you'd say. Guess I'm just more modest than you. Well, except when I'm in front of a chessboard. Huh, well we're not in front of a chessboard. It's too bad, don't use that as an excuse later. I didn't lose the game, I just couldn't find enough evidence. You're the one who should have an excuse ready. You didn't beat me at chess, you only found the evidence. Oh, here we go. All right, all right I'm taking you down this time, motherfucker. Hold it. Hold it. Something's been bothering me for a while now. What about the chamber of your own gun? My woman here, now that you, now that you mention it. I've been firing off for a while now. Hmm. Every time he fires, he reloads the gun. So there's no way to check its status from the time of the incident. That's it. In order to switch the guns, he would have to he would need to reload the bullets. Not least barehanded. He and he had no time to put on gloves when the switch was made. Oh. Well, I think it's about time for you to resign. How about it, Prosecutor Edgeworth? No evidence that I switched the guns, right? Objection! 
Yes, there we are. Uh, uh, uh. His fingerprint should be on the bullets, right? That evidence is this. You call that evidence? Prosecutor Edgeworth, you're trying too hard. Certain traces were left on this gun. Trace that proves this gun belongs to you. Show it to me, what kind of piece you got? A rook, a bishop? It better not be a pawn. Traces nightly left on the gun are blood stains, the ballistic markings, the fingerprints. You left your fingerprints on this gun. Fingerprints? Ha! That should be ex expected. That I, I handled the gun earlier when you seized the I seized your evidence. Of course, my fingerprints are on it. Objection, dumb fuck. But what if the fingerprints are in a place they should not be? What? That's not possible. Allow me to show you. There is one place where your fingerprints should not be. This piece of evidence will deal the final blow to your king. Now, behold. Here, Detective Gumshoe, please have a look at the cylinder. You got just fire or fired, sir, but where would the fingerprints be? On the fucking bullets. You made the switch when you seized the evidence earlier. However, if, if all you did was switch the guns, you would have been found out right away. That's because the number of bullets were fire, fired by the two guns are different. Gun, they got found in the audience. Harry had to had fire two shots, sir. Then what about Mr. Knightley's gun? He fired two shots at the balloon when he was on the stage. And later, one shot to kill Rook. Three shots in total, not counting the number number of shots he fired since then. And after each of those times, you would reload the bullets. Tell us, Knightley, were you wearing the gloves when doing that? Nah. Officer, in your report earlier, where where were Knightley's fingerprints found on the gun? Sir, the prints were just found on the outside of the gun. They're also found on the bullets as well. You could have told me that earlier, would have saved me a whole lot of fucking trouble. If all you did was handle the evidence, why would your fingerprints be on the bullets? That's. With this, it has been proven. You suck that you switched the guns. The gun which fired the bullet that took the victim's life. It belongs to you, Horace Knightley. You're the one who stole Rook's gut life. You are the true Assassin's Creed. I, I, I'm uh, ready. Everybody ready for me to freak out? All right, let's wait for it. Wait for it. I'm, what am I gonna do? Am I, gonna, I'm gonna, I bet I'm gonna like wait, keep spinning my gun and then like shoot myself or something. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Oh, come on! I'm waiting. Show me. Check mate, bitch. Meh, meh, meh. Okay, spinning. Oh, oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, why in the... What? Dead! I don't, I don't even... What, what the fuck just happened? Where did that shit come from? Did you shoot this? What? What was that? I I should have been le made leader. Me! Rook, that piece of scum. If it hadn't been for him, I would have complete, complete control over everybody. My assassination plan was perfect. My plan was perfect. Did you shoot the ceiling and shit? No, I mean, we're in a plane. What? I don't know what, did they fly out of his pocket? Penny up shoe, if you please. Roger that, sir. Oh good, I'm good at this part. Edgeworth! Yes! Red light right here, what? This game isn't over yet, you hear me? Hi, hi. That's enough, motherfucker. You can't hurt me. You can't touch this fucking sexy beast of a man. Oh, you wish you had a finger as waggly as mine. The rest of this game will continue in the courtroom. Grrr. Damn it. Damn you. Oh, wow, I didn't even try to fire at us. That was, that was convenient. <laughs> March 25th, 512 p.m. Gord Lake Park stage. You have my gratitude. Oh, you're back to being diesel again. Exposed to murder amongst my bodyguards. For that, I am truly in your debt. 
As soon as he stepped outside the plane, he reverted back to his king-like person, persona. Persona! <laughs> Some time ago when I proposed the fake assassination plan. You want me, not Rook. Rook declined, so I'm asking you. What do you say? I see that was the wrong answer, Mr. President. Shouldn't have mentioned. All right, let's do it. I'll come up with the perfect plan. I can even use that guy as a chess piece. When Knightley said that, his eyes were overflowing with hatred towards Rook. Frankly, I was quite anxious about asking Knightley instead of Rook. Now that I recall those events, he probably sensed the anxiety in my countenance. Perhaps this, that is what gave him the imp impetus for murder. Mr. President, you really need a better HR guy. Mr. President, if you had not orchestrated that fake plan, this would not have happened. That is your sin, stupid. A sin that won't disappear. Yes, you are absolutely correct. You have my sincerest apologies. I, too, must bear some responsibility for this. Some? Even so, I am most grateful to you. I thank you for solving the mystery of Rook's death. I am scheduled to stay in this country for a little longer. But if any of you wish to ever wish to visit the public of Zengfa, you will always be welcome. No, no thanks. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I've had enough of Zengfa through fucking Agent Lang. Where is that weirdo anyway? And then the, and then the plane just explodes. Oh, Lordy! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I'm so happy for you, Nicole! Oh, yes, good. Play the happy music. You are set up as the suspect for the murder. Still, your involvement with the fake assassination plan remains a fact. You will have to submit police question late. A, a, to police questioning later. You should know that there's still a possibility you may be charged with some crime. Yeah, I know. Sorry about all this. I understand you want to catch a scoop, but there's a line that should not be crossed. I hear you. I promise to reflect on this. We did it, Mr. Edgeworth. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was. Come on, chest bump. All right. <laughs> Prosecutor to Rassol's presidential assassination attempt. It's going to be big news. <laughs> big news? Mr. Prosecutor, would you dare telling us how you feel about solving this case? <laughs> ah, that was certainly a quick change of attitude. Damn it. No comment. Oh, don't be so ordering. No, you're, shut up, you're ordering. Reason is because this case is not over yet. Huh, not over, what do you mean, sir? What shows that this case is not over yet? It's not over yet. Um, oh, the card? It's not having any significance for this. The killer's card. The killer still hasn't carry, carried out his request. Uh oh. You mean killing the president? Hope this do, doesn't turn into a, a larger incident. I could last an entire game that was never released in the West. An assassination attempt on the president of Zengfa. News of this incident spread across the entire country. The mass media also hounded me as I began to prepare for the trial of Horace Knightley. Everyone had seen the news and everyone was talking about it. However, amidst the commotion, nobody noticed that the game had only just begun. You have only just finished the tutorial, Nico. The end, but not really. Brand new episode, The Imprisoned Turnabout. All right. Good stuff. Man, that was a good, that was a fucking good intro case. It was a long one. That was like, that was a lot of, lot of shit going on that one. I like it. I like it. Good shit. That was, that was good. I, I enjoy that considerably. It's a good sign. Good sign of good shit to come. How many cases are, by the way, how many cases total are there in this? Is it four or five? And also just, just out of curiosity, out of people who have played this, which case is your favorite? Let me know. I'm just, just kind of curious to to see what uh, the majority of people like, like which case was the, the fair. I mean, usually it's almost always people saying the final case, but I don't know, sometimes people say like, oh yeah, case case one or case three or whatever, you know? So let me know. But uh, anyway, like for if you enjoyed, subscribe and become a Peaky Penguin aboard the SLP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always guys, till next time, stay classy.